Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. In today's video, we are going to see some interview questions from the very interesting area which is called robotics. So this is actually an interview series which we are doing for especially core company preparations. We have done some videos on artificial intelligence. We have uh, done some videos on embedded system and semiconductor theory and we are continuing the series. Now in today's video, we are going to see some questions from robotics. It is indeed a very uh, interesting area, a lot of job opportunities is there. Now let's see the questions from robotics. If you are seeing the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. That will be always an encouragement. So let's see the questions one by one. Now let's see what is the first question. What do you understand by the term robotics? So robotics is actually the branch of uh, science or engineering which actually deals with robots, its operation, control, uh, creation, etc. Okay, so it is uh, the combination of engineering and science and it is a branch which deals with creating, controlling and maintaining or operating of intelligent uh, machines which are called robots. So these robots are actually designed to perform uh, a very uh, complex task in a very efficient way. It will be a very complex task for a human, but the robot can do it in a very efficient way. So this type of uh, study or there, uh, this branch is actually called robotics. In simple terms, we can say robotics is actually the branch which is dealing with robots, their development, their uh, controlling and their operation. Okay, so that is robotics. It is a branch that deals with robots. Okay. Now the next question, very, very uh, important question. The second question, it is the basic uh, question from this subject. What is actually a robot? So robot is a programmable machine. We know robot is a machine. It is just like any other machine, which is designed to perform a very complex task in a efficient and in a precise way. Okay. So these robots generally, when we are uh, creating a robot, our aim is to make our life or our task uh, easy okay so why robots are being created why we are creating for example a room uh, a roomba roomba means uh, a robot which is used to clean the floor okay or wipe the floor why it is being created it is to make our task easy most of the time we create when we are creating a robot our aim is to make our task easy that's why we are creating a robot so some task will be difficult for us it will be very complex for humans but when we create a robot our aim is to simplify the task or to perform the task in a efficient and in a precise way so that is the definition of a robot robot is a programmable machine which can do complex tasks in a precise and an efficient way okay so that is the second question the third question it is a very very important question what are the various laws of robotics so when uh, a person is creating a robot he should follow certain rules or the robot uh, which it is creating uh, should obey certain rules and this process of creation of a robot should be within that laws okay so there are primarily three laws in robotics which are very very important the first law is a robot may not injure human beings our aim when we are creating a robot is not to injure human beings but to make the life of humans uh, or uh, human beings easy okay it is not uh, its purpose is not to harm or injure human beings okay so that is the first law second law the robot must obey all the orders given by the human except when the first law is getting uh, conflicted or when the first law is not obeyed so if a person is creating a uh, robot that person is considered as the master of that robot so that robot uh, is intended to obey all the rules given by the creator or that human being. But when the first law is being conflicted, means first law is not to injure human beings. But when the first law is being conflicted, it can uh, cannot obey the, uh, the humans or the creator. This can happen. Okay. So anyway, the second law is generally the robots should obey all the rules given by the humans. Third law is the robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict first or second law. Okay, so the robot is also, uh, what do you say, responsible for its own 
protection it should uh, keep itself safe okay so it should protect its own existence that is the third law okay so these are the three laws of robotics it is very very important based on which only all the robots are being created and they should obey all the laws that's why uh, see we are creating some intelligent machines but the machines should not be a bothering to the society it should be uh, created to make the life of the human or the people around uh, it easy not to harm them okay that should be very much the focus next question which is a fourth question list list the name of areas where robotics can be applied in which all areas we can apply robotics or we can use robots to make our task or life easy first one is military area very very important very very important application we can use robots in military areas wherever humans can uh, can't go we can send the robots and we can use uh, them for the military purpose okay the second one which is industrial area there are certain tasks which are very much uh, tire tiring processes there tiring tasks there and also monotonous task repetitive task okay so humans will get bored by do, by doing these type of monotonous or repetitive task or some laborious task but robots can do these tasks which are sometimes very much uh, requiring lot of hard work so when we uh, when we use robots for doing these tasks our life will be easier so industrial area very very important applications of robotics agriculture industries then domestic areas household applications nowadays we are using as i've told you in the beginning of the video uh, nowadays we are using these uh, what do you say floor cleaning robots or roomba we say it is roomba for cleaning or uh, wiping the floor so even that task for that task we are using a robot there is alexa there are various uh, robotic machines which can be used to operate the lights we can turn on the lights and turn off the light or ac or whatever appliances we can connect to them and we can make our life easy so by just giving them command they will turn on the light or turn on the tv or turn off the tv so these type of things will make our life better and easy okay so household purpose also we can use robots medical areas a lot of applications is there we can send the small robots or robotic uh, what do you say probe through the pipes and we can do major surgeries then in research works okay these are some areas where we can use robotics okay the next question is what do you understand by the term humanoid robot humanoid robot means a robot which overall looks like a human body there are various uh, movies itself created uh, with these type of uh, what do you say based on this storyline uh, which are based on hum uh, the robots which are looking like humans there are some other robots which will be looking just like a machine but some robots they look like humans it will be like a uh, human only there will be various body parts just like humans so this type of human like or resembling the human uh, body is called humanoid robot there are two type of this uh, humanoid robot that is uh, android humanoid which is resembling a male body and then gynoid humanoid which is resembling female body very simple okay so this is one important term in robotics now what are the basic components of robot okay now what all things are there uh, which are present in a robot there should be a power supply very very important robots are machines itself but it is doing some intelligent work that is the only thing they are not humans okay they are not uh, equal to humans but they are just uh, we can say uh, not exactly like but little bit like humans but they can do task more efficient and precise way but they need power supply they have to survive for that there should be power supply actuators should be there so what is actuator actuator is a device which will uh, convert energy to movement they also has to do some work or they have to move so for that actuators should be there electric motors should be there motors uh, help them in uh, what do you say uh, that operating their own body parts for example their arms or leg okay for that ac or dc motor should be there sensors very very important so these um, uh, robots most of the time they will sense various things around and they will uh, react according to them okay the next important part is sensor okay 
consider that there is a line following robot or an obstacle avoiding robot i hope you have heard of these terms okay so we, how do they do this uh, the purpose of line following or obstacle avoidance just by using some sensors they use some sensor uh, mostly it will be uv sensors uh, or ir sensors with the help of these sensors they will sense the obstacles around them and they avoid the obstacles and follow the uh, the path which is out of obstacles okay or if it is a line following robot there will be some sensors used to detect the line whatever color the line is whether it is black or white it will sense that light uh, and it will follow the path okay so the sensors are very very important part of robots okay now the next part or the last part we can say it is controller so there are some uh, certain situations in which we will we will be giving some inputs to the robot and the robot will process that input and it will react accordingly so how the processing uh, processing is happening so there is a controller part in the robot which will process or you can say it calculates the input and then it uh, then it process the input and it gives or it reacts accordingly okay so this is the controller part you can say just like a brain in human there is a controller part in robots that help uh, itself in making some decisions okay yeah so that is the there are the various parts of robots so this uh, with this question i am trying to wind up this video because this is only the basic video on robotics interview question if you want to see more videos uh of any of the uh, the subject whether it is semiconductor theory or whether it is embedded system or whether it is uh, uh the uh, artificial intelligence okay any of pa the part you want to see or you want to continue the interview series please mention that in the comment section we'll be doing that uh, one by one because i'm just uh, starting every subject its interview preparation because a lot of people are attending interviews whether it is in their colleges or whether it is in companies so these uh, videos are uh, for helping them okay so please mention in the comment section if you want to continue some interview series or if you want some additional subject you can also say that that's all for today's video i am really hoping that you found the content useful like the video if it was useful please share the video with your friends thanks for watching and keep on watching